a, a big tendency, I mentioned it before, to rely on technology. We've used it as a silver bullet to really try and thwart cyber attacks and also compliance failures. We've used people to implement processes and the technologies, but we've made a fundamental error. We have recruited in our own shadow. We've got people like us. They're easy, they fit in to the culture. But we need people who aren't just in the military or intelligence or from STEM backgrounds. We need people who are different to us. How can I use cryptography to mitigate my, my security-related anxiety? As a user, what I worry about the most is not having control of my data. How can I know who has access to my data if, for example, every employee of my credit card company can see all my credit card transactions? I mean, those guys probably know me better than my mom. There's a few things that always happen when you watch hacking from Hollywood. Bad guys wearing a hoodie. They can hack into anything that they want. They can do it in a matter of seconds, and they never, ever get detected. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that is not what computer hacking looks like. We've created a fake bank called Global Bank. We're going to play the role of one of Global Bank's competitors. We're going to see if we can find a way to access their sensitive financial information. We're going to steal the data for our own use, and then we're going to destroy the data so that it's no longer useful for them. Uh, even worse, they're, they've sort of turned the internet into a dopamine slot machine uh, where we're constantly liking and clicking and, and uh, we're, we're constantly fed uh, images, words, etc. that are designed to keep us uh, wrapped um, uh, on our phones or on our laptops. Uh, and, so, uh, and that's, of course, so they can sell us more, more and more.